It's toy time. 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 It's toy time, it's toy time! Hello YouTubers, Toy Time Studio subscribers, and all online viewers. This is Danny Martinez here for Toy Time Studios. This is episode 43. We're going to be doing the April Funko Pop Haul. Now, it's only, what, uh, April 23rd. Uh, however, I can anticipate that I'm pretty much done getting Funko Pops for the rest of the month. So, with that being said, before I show you what I picked up all month from various locations, I'd just like to remind you to like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure you take a look at that notification bell down there. Hit the notification bell. Hit it. Go ahead. Hit it. Hit that notification bell. That way you know every time that I go live or, or I have a video coming out, and you'll be notified right away. Okay, we'll start off with what we picked up at GameStop. From previous episodes, you may have seen street art games, uh, GameStop exclusive pieces for the Marvel Funko Pops. I picked up Spider-Man. And Stan Lee. Now, actually, I picked up two of them. There was no way that I was going to not make sure that I had a double of that. The next two I picked up from GameStop were the Sherlock Holmes Deadpool, Marvel Zombies Rogue. Both GameStop exclusives. By mistake, I also picked up Roman De Senator Deadpool and Backyard Griller Deadpool, which I'm going to be returning. I'll just exchange them for something else. I'm sure I'll find something. So that takes care of GameStop. Now, since I'm returning those other two, I'm not going to leave them out. Uh, what happened was I picked them up, and then I realized when I got home, I looked at what I had picked up from Joker's Child a few weeks ago, and then I realized that I already had picked them up. I had them already. But that's okay. Uh, I still kept the receipt, so... Everything will be just fine. Okay, now we're going to move on to our Hot Topic pickups. Uh, we picked up Hot Topic exclusive Ballerina Deadpool. 2021 Spring Convention Funko Limited Edition exclusive Marvel Zombies Zombie Morpheus. Picked up Zombie Gambit. We picked up Miles Morales programmable matter suit. We also snagged up Marvel Zombies Zombie She-Hulk Hot Topic exclusive. I was looking for this recently because I couldn't find it, but I'm glad I finally did. Zombie Doctor Doom. And last but not least, because they were 3 for 27 at Hot Topic, so I picked up Death of the Family Hot Topic exclusive Joker. Picked up two, because I'm going to open up one for the Joker section that I have upstairs in the DMS gallery. Did a random stop over. Newberry Comics. Picked up Batman 89. Ended up getting a double by mistake. Again, same situation. Got home and realized that I had picked it up two weeks earlier from Joker's Child. Deadpool and Cake. So I will be returning this one as well. Thank goodness I kept the receipt. And that's Newberry Comics, which I also, I love Michael Jordan. And I saw 
two of him in North Carolina blue. So one in his North Carolina uniform and one in his uh, warm-up suit. So I had to pick those up. Now, we're leading up to something big, something huge. But we're going to show you what we picked up from the Joker's Child first. So we're going to set these up over here. Because we're going to need a little room. As I said, Joker's Child. We had picked a few things up over the course of the month. Roman, Senator, Deadpool. Then, we have Dino Pool. Again, Deadpool and Kate. I know I'm going to be returning one of these. Um, most likely I'll try to go to Newberry Comics and return it. If not, I'll trade it in at a Joker's Child, hopefully. Uh, either way, I'll figure it out. LARP Deadpool. Next up is Flamengo Deadpool. Then we have Barista Deadpool. As well as Backyard Griller Deadpool. Okay, now you may notice there's a space right down the middle there. Uh, and there is a good reason for it, okay? But, first, uh, I'm going to have to make a little more space. So, give me one moment. All right, now that we've adjusted the spacing, that's because I'm going to show you that there are two more additions. I wanted to end this episode with something pretty big. So I've got two mystery unboxings, and then I've got two big items that I'm going to end it with. So I needed to get a classic Hulk, and I finally got one. So... I was very happy to get that at the Wayne Toy Show. Also from the... Wayne Toy Show, 2020 Fall Convention, limited edition exclusive, Red Goblin. Not last, certainly not least, we're going to do a mystery unboxing. Now these two are from Amazon, so we're going to open them right here for you. I still can't find that X-Acto knife, but I'll figure it out eventually. Always cut away from yourself, I mean, or just cut towards yourself, you know, if you want to be unsafe, you want to be reckless, go ahead. Okay, so we've got one right here. Let's see what we picked up from Amazon. Ah, yes, okay. For one of the bat display cases, I wanted a classic Doctor Strange. And it came in, a, and it came with a uh, uh, protector case. Pretty cool, but it's going to be coming out. The last unboxing for this episode. This is just for Funkos. So we'll just keep it at that. All right, let's see what the next one is. You ready? It's another one for uh, the display case for the classic Marvel. And then I've got one bat display case here full of Funko Pops for my Spider-Man display with the villains. However, classic Ant-Man, I definitely wanted one of these. 2018 Summer Convention Limited Edition Funko Exclusive. Uh, very happy to have this one. This will go in the classic case as well. Okay. We finally are at the end, we made it, and we finally have the last two pieces to show you for this haul for April, okay? It was a busy month. We were at Zap Comics in Wayne, New Jersey, visiting, picking up some back issues, some new issues, some pops, some other stuff, and they released this Oversized previews exclusive Galactus with Silver Surfer 
it was just too cool to pass up. There is no way that I could resist this for too long. And it has a little server, silver surfer in there that sits on his hand. I mean, what more could you want? How much more awesome could it get? Really? I mean, come on. You know, it's been out for about, came out mid-April. Uh, actually, beginning of April. First week of April came out. About 45, 46 bucks. Well worth it for the size. That one, definitely a happy, happy addition to the collection. I'm starting to run out of space for the Funko Pops. I've got a few more small shelves to add. It's time to start storing some in totes um, besides the empty ones. That's getting figured out now. I'm going to be moving some over to the totes and just store them away. Whichever ones I don't want to display. Now, before we show you the last piece of the episode, the last piece we picked up for April, I uh, just want to thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking through to the end of this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We really appreciate it. We love doing this for you. And we have so much fun with it. So, let's get to it, shall we? It is time to unveil what is the crown jewel of this episode, the final piece. Now, um, I've mentioned my buddy Rich. He is the wrestling guru. I I call him. I consider him the wrestling uh, figure guru. Anything wrestling collectible wise, any questions or knowledge of wrestling that I need to know, I always can go to him. We always go to live shows. He's one of my best buds. Uh, we do a lot of uh, toy shows and comic cons and conventions all the time. We're always on the hunt for stuff. Uh, he'll be doing uh, an interview eventually in the future. We're, we're going to get some information from him and uh, learn some, of, some things about wrestling toys and the figures and a little bit of the history over the years of collectibles. He'll be, uh, he's our go to guy, our consultant. So, uh, he was on, on the prowl, he was out on the hunt, and we've had, we've had, uh, we've got a lot of inside jokes, uh, while we're out on the hunt doing things. So, uh, we always go to like different Walmarts, Targets, toy stores, Pandora's Box, Zap Comics, Wayne Toy Show, all the conventions. And uh, we always, always, always were looking at Walmarts for the oversized Funko Pops. Uh, they recently released Wolverine. Uh, there's a few others. They recently released Marvel Zombies. And there was a Wolverine. There's a Deadpool, like a Gambit. Uh, they released a thing like over a year ago which I picked up. These are all zombies, remember? And there's one other one that I picked up, but we can never find... Oh, Magneto. But we can never find the Black Panther. We'd been to probably 30 different stores, Walmarts, for this Walmart exclusive in particular, and we can never find it. We'd been to 30 different stores, multiple times so i'm talking about maybe a hundred times we've made stops at stores looking for these just to drop in and check to see if they have it i've even looked at other states when i was in north carolina i visited a walmart and took a look and i tell you it's almost impossible but for some reason somehow he was so lucky he was he was able to find it i'm talking about the Marvel Zombies, Black Panther, Walmart exclusive, the unicorn that we thought we'd never see. We probably only saw it once uh, at a toy show. I saw it once at a toy show for sure. And it was going for like 60, 70 bucks. I wasn't about to pay that. He was able to pick it up for 30 at retail price. It is literally one of the like one of the items we haven't even seen. We were hoping just to see it. And he found it. Thanks, Rich. I appreciate it. We're going to be putting that by the Funko wall. Of course, it's not going to come out of the package. 
I'll probably take the regular ones out of the package. This one's going to stay in the box. I just like it too much. So that'll do it for the month of April 2021. Thanks again for tuning in. Tune in next time. We'll have new videos coming out. We're trying to race up to 50 videos. And uh, we got a lot of catching up to do. The plan was to be at 70 by the end of April. We're probably going to be at 50 by the end of April. So by the end of May, we want to be at 80. We're hoping to be at 80. We've got plenty of stuff to open up, plenty of items to show, and plenty of ideas for episodes. So let's see what we can do. Depends on the work schedule and everything else and just life in general. But we will get there. We'll see you next time. Same toy time, same toy channel. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Be safe, everybody. Peace.